And now, ladies and gentlemen, the time has arrived. From the Copper Box Arena in London, England, this is our Fight Night Live main event of the evening. Introducing to you first the challenger fighting tonight out of the red corner. He comes to the ring wearing black with orange and weighed in at 12 stone, six pounds. Hailing from Ilford, London, England, he has a professional record of 21 wins, two defeats with 20 of his 21 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the former world title challenger, Anthony, the beast from the East, Yord. And his opponent across the ring in this main event, he is the defending champion, fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He comes to the ring wearing black, gray, and yellow, and weighed in at 12 stone, five pounds. Coming to us from Mauston, Manchester, England, he is undefeated with 19 wins. 13 of his 19 wins come by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the reigning and defending Commonwealth and WBO Intercontinental Light Heavyweight Champion, Lyndon King Arthur. Okay, lads, obey my commands. In the event of a knockdown, the fighter standing will go to the furthest units of corner and stay there. Protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves. So we're all set. The main events. We're really looking forward to this one. And what a contrast that the ring announcements from MC Thomas Tribe. The yard was prowling around the ring, and Lyndon Arthur was knelt down in his corner. He's been cool, calm and collected all week in the build-up. Anthony Yard is the man with a point to prove. And 364 days after Lyndon Arthur's split decision victory in Westminster, here we are at the Copper Box in East London for the rematch. The bookmakers can't really split them. Arthur starts a, as a very slight underdog. But there are so many layers to this one, Richie. Can Anthony Yard fight his fight tonight? Something he couldn't do last December. And will two hands be better than one for Lyndon Arthur? Well, they should be, but um, straight away, Anthony Yard on that front foot. So it's a case of starting off where he left off in that uh, contest almost a year ago. He had a great last round, remember, did um, Anthony Yard last time out. He's come out. Aggressively and fast, Anthony Yard, which has been a feature of his career so far. It took him until the fourth round when they met last year to land his first meaningful right hand. He certainly set out to fight a different fight tonight, something that Lyndon Arthur's expected. They've talked about it. Pat Barrett, his trainer, and himself in the build up, they've said all along that this is the way that Anthony Yard's going to fight tonight. They will expect um, Lyndon Arthur, the Lyndon Arthur camp will expect a quicker start, most definitely, from Anthony Yard, and that's what we've got here. So Lyndon Arthur, again, he's got to control things with his jab, try and box at distance and keep his man at bay. But Anthony Yard, totally the opposite, closing that gap down, getting to Lyndon Arthur, targeting the right hand because of the low lead hand that uh, Lyndon Arthur has got. Lyndon Arthur in the black and yellow, the black and orange for Anthony Yard, who's trying to detonate the right hands early. Lyndon Arthur beckons him in. Totally different style, Arthur unbeaten. Anthony Yard has only lost to Sergei Kovalev and to Lyndon Arthur in the first fight. And this is totally different. Brilliant right hand shot from Yard. Early concerns here for Lyndon Arthur. Big Lyndon shot. Arthur. Big shot, Fletch. That was right hand from Anthony Yard. Bang on the bottom. And it's a positive start for Anthony Yard. Arthur took it. How much it hurts him, only he knows. He's got to get to work behind that left jab that was the feature for him. When they met for the first time, he's not been allowed to throw it so far due to the ferocious start that Anthony Yard's made. Well, Yard's closed the, the distance and gap down very quickly, hasn't he? He's learned from that first contest. Arthur was brilliant in the first contest, keeping his distance, boxing behind the jab. Excellent Anthony Yard is there from Arthur. 
Lewis, he's got a good right hand of his own in there as well. Frank Warren promised this would be explosive. It looks like he's right. Totally different start, isn't it, from Anthony Young on that front foot, closing the gap down. And now he's, he's got to get to Lyndon Arthur. So, yeah, tactically, he's got it spot on at this stage. Let's bring in Steve Bunce here at the end of the first round. Steve, that was an explosive start from Anthony Yard. We expected it, didn't we? We did expect it. It was round 13. In all fairness, in that round, Yard threw more punches to body and head, used his brain more and was more effective than he was in at least the first six or seven rounds of the first fight. That was the Anthony Yard we expected last year at Church House. We finally got it tonight, and it set us up for 11 remaining rounds. It's going to be furious. Great start there from Anthony Yard, crashing right hand. So let's see what the second round has in store. It's been spiky in the build-up. More so between the trainers, Pat Barrett and Tumbi Ajayi, than the two fighters. Lyndon Arthur's come out here nice and aggressive at the start of the second half, popping out that left jab, and he's going to try and land more right hands tonight. Couldn't throw it really in the first fight because it was badly damaged. When Anthony Yard hesitates and he waits, that's when he allows Lyndon Arthur just to pop that jab out. He's got to be first as, as Anthony Yard if he's going to win this contest on that front foot. He's got to beat Arthur to the punch, he's got to be first. If he hesitates, if he slows down, that allows Arthur just to control things with that jab. Anthony Yard said that he needs to be himself tonight, fight his fight, the early indications are that he's going to do that. Lyndon Arthur said that Yard has to knock him out to win, and he's confident that he can go at whatever pace Anthony Yard wants to set, but that's a, a big unknown, really, in many ways, Richie, whether he can actually do that. It's certainly a different set of circumstances already than we had a year ago. Well, Yard has set the pace, hasn't he, in the contest so far? He's picking things up. He said he needed to do things differently, and he started very well. Can he maintain it? How is it going to affect it? The, the old gas tanks, we, that's always been the, the question mark of Anthony Yard as well. As if he goes into the later rounds, what's his stamina like? And that's what Lyndon Arthur will hope, he'll hope to take him into those latter rounds. Both of them seem intent on throwing hard shots and landing big punches here. Just over a minute to go in the second round, scheduled for 12. Commonwealth and WBO Intercontinental Light Heavyweight titles on the line. More importantly, a shot at the winner of Callum Johnson and Joe Smith, who fight in January. second round here in the copper box. Listen to me. Good. 
played this game, yeah, right, it's, it's keep coming, yeah, but dictating, you understand me? Yeah, I'm doing that, and then him coming and him, telling him what, go spend the knees, don't go square, put the afro in the middle, go with him, show the show punches down the side, okay? It's like up and close, yeah, so. Let's get some of this power, let's yeah, start putting the power, don't drop the jab. Manchester still lives there, Anthony Yard, who's only gone the distance once, and that was in defeat to Lyndon Arthur a year ago. He only had 12 amateur fights, but he tells everybody that he lives like an athlete 24-7. Little short left-hand punch got through there from Anthony Yard. It was short but really sharp and pretty effective too, Richard. I think his speed is um, impressive in this contest up to now. Anthony Yard seems to be quicker off the mark. Another good right hand, and again, Arthur's got to move off those ropes. Can't get trapped over there, Lyndon Arthur. It's been a good start from Anthony Yard. Throwing punches with power to head and body. I think that's what he needs to do more of there, Anthony. I'll move his head as he's coming forward. time to speak to you during the round, Lyndon Arthur. It's been an ongoing conversation for the last 365 days, Fletch. Expect more of it. That was really serious. He came, I thought Yard came, I thought Yard pushed him there. There he is having a chat with me there. He said, Bunsy, you said I would lose last time. What say you this time? It's not as simple as that. I'll tell you what I did like there, is when is, is some of the stuff that Lyndon Arthur did, the, not just the right, not just the headshots, he scores some fantastic body shots, Lyndon. Only two or three. And that's all you need at this level, Rich, because they're quality, just one or two. Yeah, there's some good work. Also some good work from Yard on that front foot. I think Yard's speed is different, it's more effective. I got him two rounds to one up. Richie's scorecard rewarding Anthony Yard with two of the first three rounds here. I must say, when you look at the face of Lyndon Arthur, even in the heat of battle, he looks as though he's gone for a steady stroll around the local park. 
that's a face that belies the intensity that burns inside him on a night like this. A little bit low from Anthony Yard. You can see Yard wants to box up close, mid and short range. Arthur's got to try and concentrate on that mid and long range, he's got to keep his distance, but it's Yard that's closing the gap quicker, so he's moving into his, his stronger territory, which is that mid and short. That's what's happening here, Arthur's not so effective with the jab, but that's what he's got to get back to try and do him. Jab, long straight right hand and keep a gap. But Yard, see, that's better, you see, for, for Arthur. And then the response from Yard is on that front foot. Yard shook the punch off and then fires back with punches of his own, and he's putting them together. Sustained pressure from Anthony Yard. Can Lyndon Arthur weather the storm? Big shots going in. That was a big left hook. And another right hand. Lyndon Arthur's down. Anthony Yard puts him down with a chopping right hand in the fourth round. And he's finished. It's over. Anthony Yard has won it. Well, Anthony Yard. Cracking finish, Steve. That was an impressive Anthony Yard. We knew he had to do things differently, and right from the opening bell, he was a different animal altogether. He never gave Lyndon Arthur a chance to settle, even when Arthur tried to jab long. If you like Arthur caught him with a shot, Anthony Yard came out with three or four. The body shots were, I think, the crucial element. He started to hurt him with body shots, and then he got him. He's letting his punches go all the way through. He fought that fight like he didn't care about round six or seven or eight. Oh, no, he didn't care about all the stories about how his stamina falls. He didn't care that Lyndon Arthur might put him on the end of the jab. He fought that round like every round was his last round, Fletch. Every round there was the final round. He was true to himself. He said in the build-up that he got to fight his fight tonight, and he fought an Anthony Yard fight. And when the opportunity presented itself, Richie, he was clinical. He was indeed, and that's a cracking picture there. Pat Barrett, the trainer, and Tunji Ajin. Referees, he's looked into his eyes. He knows, yeah, he knows, and you know, it's all right us saying here whether he would have got through that. But Bob Williams, let's have a look at the finish there. So there's a good body shot, there's that right hand over the top, and he really goes for it here. Good left up there and puts the combinations together well. A couple of great uppercuts, and he wouldn't let Lyndon Arthur off the hook. Chin on the chest job, looking for the opportunities and the openings. Big uppercut there from him, left hook's going into the body. That was a super shot, that solar plexus punch. Also the left hook, and then the right hand to finish it. And Bob Williams is his close, and he's looked into his eyes, his eyes, and he couldn't recover. Steve, the penultimate punch there, the body shot, froze oh. Lyndon Arthur in his tracks, and it allowed Anthony Yard for the final knockout punch that ended the fight. Because that's not round the back of the elbows, that's straight in the middle, in the solar plexus, takes everything out of him, and he gets dropped. So you, when he goes down on his knees there, he turns over to his knees quite quick. Let's get that right. And, and that's when I think he might have just beat the count, Well, the good news is that Lyndon Arthur is up on his feet. They've just made sure that he's OK in the corner over there. Anthony Yard and his team are over there with him. But it's good to see Lyndon Arthur back up here, Richie. Yes, of course. You know, he took some big shots there, but he's back on his feet. Obviously, he hurt very hurt from those body shots. 
And um, like I said, um, Anthony Yard would not let him off the hook. And there's Tundi AJ there talking to Lyndon Arthur. It's 1 1. Will we see a trilogy, Steve? But uh, in, in, in that sense, I mean, that was so convincing there. Why not? You know, how about this? Okay, I'm going to say this now. What if Lyndon Arthur has had a bad, bad camp? What if Lyndon Arthur's if it's not gone the way he wanted it to go? If he can come up with that, that's great. If, however, it ends the way it looked like it ended, with him being on the floor, getting onto his knees, and then not beating the count, that's a hard. It's hard then to make a case for a rematch. Well, there's been a lot set between the two camps in the build-up. The fighters backed off a little bit. He was left to Pat Barrett and took the Ajayi to get stuck into each other at the press conference yeah. but it's really good to see the love of mutual respect tonight but look at the face of Anthony Yard he knows just how important tonight was for him in terms of his career defeat tonight and he would have been such a long way back but when he had to deliver he delivered and he gets the knockout victory tonight against Lyndon Arthur here at the Copper Box one minute 27 seconds of round number four your winner by way of knockout and new Commonwealth and WBO Intercontinental Light Heavyweight Champion, Anthony, the Beast from the East, York.